Hey guys, my name is Chris Lloyd, local Nashville stand-up comic. You can see me and all my funny places where I'm going to be at. Where? At myspace.com slash Lloyd, L-O-Y-D-E-D. And uh, hopefully I'll see you at a gig and make you laugh. In the meantime, here's one of my buddy comics. This next guy, he's anything but his last name. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Gary Dahl. Hi, I'm Gary Dole, and I uh, used to go to Vanderbilt, and uh, Phil canceled my 10 care. Uh, it's kind of a sad moment, kind of a sad moment. Uh, I was on my way down here tonight, I stopped at the store to get some uh, drinks, and uh, I get up to the counter, the girl's like, uh, do you need a bag? I looked at her, I'm like, well, you're not that bad. <laughs> Your friend there can use a burlap, though. <laughs> She's kind of homely. So I figured while I was at the store, I'd get me some lottery tickets. I bought a scratch-off lottery ticket. I scratched it off. Said I owed them $20. <laughs> That's sad. That's sad. Another sad thing, I, I thought I had a new nephew in my family. It turns out it's a son. <laughs> my brother-in-law was pretty mad about that one. I tell you, he's, he's furious. Some other weird things up around. They got on to this fella up there where I live for playing with his grandkids. I thought, that's not that bad. But I found out he was playing with them before they were born. <laughs> his son was pretty mad at him. <laughs> he was, that's sad stuff, that's, that's really sad. That's not as sad as like when you're out deer hunting, and you see that perfect 10 point buck, and you get him all sided up, your mouth starts watering, your heart starts racing, you hit the throttle and the carburetor chokes up. <laughs> Man, that'll knock a jerky taste right out of your mouth right there. Oh, man. Or what about when you get some deer meat and you're eating it and you bite into some headlight glass? Oh, right, right in a cavity? Oh, my goodness, that's sad. That's sad. What about like when your girlfriend's in the hospital and your wife won't let you go and visit her? <laughs> that's right. I told her, I said, honey, I ain't right to do your sister like that. Now get your coat, let's go. <laughs> let's get out of here. Well, he's down there. Well, he's down there the other night. I come home and I caught my wife sleeping with my best friend. I was like, what in the heck? So I'm going to call him out like any normal man would do. I'm like, come on, boy. Let's go outside. Come on, let's go out. He just laid there. I'm like, best friend of my butt. <laughs> best friend. Me and my wife, we had a debate the other day about Hooters, the family restaurant. She said it was a place for male chauvinist pigs to go and hang out and look at women's boobs. And when I got through onking, I was like, no, honey, it's a family restaurant. <laughs> she said, how do you figure that? I said, well, if I wasn't married to you, I'd start a family with any of them girls. I mean, she, you been in there? <laughs> I said, them girls is hot. <laughs> i tell you, she was mad, boy. She was really mad. I looked over her. She was mad them three special words wouldn't work anymore because I tried them. I was like, here's some money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because nothing says I love you, Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, Sorry I Forgot Our Anniversary, Thanks for Cleaning My Rifle, like here's some money. <laughs> Try it. This one time, though, I went to a strip club accidentally. Oh, she was really mad. <laughs> She used to, man, I felt like auction. I was like, we take 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 75, 75, 50. Forgiveness, $800. <laughs> Sleeping on the couch was priceless, though. <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, I uh, was talking to my wife the other day. She said, Gary, doing that stand-up comedy is going to make you a sex symbol. I was like, really? She's like, no, nope, just messing with you. <laughs> so I thought to myself, there ain't no reason why I can't get in shape and look like a sex symbol. So I went down to the gym. And the, the trainer there, he's like, Gary, now you're going to have the body you've always dreamed of. I'm like, dude, I don't want boobs. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, my name's Gary Dole, and if anybody's interested in joining the Gary Dole fan club, just feel free to go online and start one up. <laughs> or, or you can go to myspace.com backslash Gary Dole and give me your best wishes. Thank you very much.